Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Guthrie from LiveLeanTV.com. Now today I want to share the best foods high in fiber for weight loss. So even with all the associated health benefits, only a small percentage of people consume the recommended daily amount of fiber. So the benefits of fiber include improves your gut health and digestion. It also helps lower the risk of cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It keeps you regular and helps balance blood sugar levels and reduces the circulation of toxins in the body and gets rid of estrogen from the body. It also keeps you feeling full, reduces cravings, and yes, fiber is one of the best allies with weight loss because when you're full, you won't overeat. It also slows the emptying of the food from your stomach, which provides a steady stream of nutrients for your body to use. And as you know, we promote a healthy lifestyle with a diet higher in protein, healthy fat, and fiber. And I've branded it PFF, protein, fat, and fiber. So a diet high in protein, fat, and fiber is great for long-term weight loss, muscle building, hormonal health, gut health, and maintaining a lean and fit body composition 365 days a year. So in previous episodes, I've shared the best sources of high protein foods, as well as the best sources of healthy fats. However, I haven't yet dedicated an entire episode to the best sources of high fiber foods. But before we get to that, let's cover the basics of fiber. First of all, what is fiber? So fiber comes in two varieties. You have soluble fiber, and this is the type of fiber that turns into a gel-like substance when it's in the stomach. So this helps slow the digestion and the absorption of sugar. So this helps slow the digestion and the absorption of sugar, which helps balance blood sugar levels as well as helping lower cholesterol. And soluble fiber also helps you feel full, thus decreases cravings and reduces the risk of overeating. Now the other type of fiber is insoluble fiber. So I'm sure you've heard that fiber helps you poop. Well, insoluble fiber is the type that helps you remove waste from your body more efficiently. So if you're feeling backed up and constipated, insoluble fiber is your friend. And even though fiber is actually indigestible by humans, it's essential to gut health and digestion as the healthy bacteria in your gut eats fiber to grow and flourish. So you may be asking, what is the recommended daily amount of fiber? So this depends on your age and your gender. So since men typically eat more food than women, men require more fiber. So same thing goes for younger people versus older people. So if you're under 50 years old, men typically go for about 38 grams of fiber per day and women go for 25 grams of fiber per day. But if you're over 50 years old, men can get away with getting 30 grams of fiber per day and women have 21 grams of fiber per day. So let's jump into the best sources of high fiber foods for weight loss. So this means foods high in fiber but still being lower in carbohydrates. So many people think they need to substantially increase their carbohydrate consumption in order to eat more fiber. So true, Fiber comes from eating carbohydrates. However, the right types of carbohydrates can still be high in fiber without being too high in carbohydrates. So I'm referring to high fiber foods from whole, plant-based, low glycemic complex carbohydrate sources such as vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. So even though legumes like navy beans and black beans and lentils contain the highest fiber amounts, they also include a higher amount of carbohydrates per serving. And also, some people have a tough time digesting them so listen to your body and if you do eat beans just ensure you fully cook them and if you want me to do another episode on beans and why I don't eat beans then let me know in the comments below and I can put that together for you guys and yes you can also get fiber from grains like millet buckwheat oats and brown rice however once again the carbohydrate content in these foods are much higher thus putting you at a higher risk for going over your carb intake goals if your goal is fat loss so the high fiber foods that I'm recommending are higher in fiber and higher in antioxidants to lower the free radical formation without adding extra body fat. Number one, chia seeds, 10 grams of fiber in one ounce. Number two, raspberries, eight grams of fiber in one cup. Number three, collard greens boiled, eight grams of fiber in one cup. Number four, blackberries, eight grams of fiber in one cup. Number five, flax seeds, 7.7 .7 grams of fiber in one ounce. Number six, Butternut squash cooked, seven grams of fiber in one cup. Number seven, parsnips, seven grams of fiber in one cup. Number eight, acorn squash boiled, six grams of fiber in one cup. Number nine, pears, six grams of fiber in one pear. 
Number 10, broccoli boiled, 5.1 grams of fiber in one cup. Number 11, apples, 4.4 grams of fiber in one apple. Number 12, Brussels sprouts boiled, 4.4 grams of fiber in one cup. Number 13, sweet potato, 4 grams of fiber in one cup. Number 14, cocoa powder, 3.6 grams of fiber in two tablespoons. Number 15, carrots, 3.6 grams of fiber in one cup. Number 16, blueberries, 3.6 grams of fiber in one cup. Number 17, almonds, 3.5 grams of fiber in one ounce. Number 18, pomegranate, 3.5 grams of fiber in half a cup. Number 19, avocado, 3.2 grams of fiber in a quarter avocado. Number 20, bananas, 3.1 grams of fiber in one banana. Number 21, oranges, 3.1 gram of fiber in one orange. And number 22, strawberries, three grams of fiber in one cup. So as you may notice, not many leafy greens made that list, but I do still consider them to be one of the best fiber sources as they are super low in calories, but are loaded with nutrition and still contain a good amount of fiber. So one of the best ways to increase your fiber intake from leafy greens is to boil them. So this lowers the volume of the food, but increases the amount of fiber on your plate. You can also consider adding them to your smoothies. So remember guys, juicing fruits and vegetables removes the fiber, but when you blend them into a smoothie, the fiber remains intact. So sources of leafy greens include kale, rainbow chard, Swiss chard, arugula, spinach, and romaine. Now, other squash variations such as butternut squash, spaghetti squash, and yellow summer squash and zucchini are also good sources of fiber that are relatively lower in carbohydrates. So I like using squash and zucchini as a substitute from traditional refined pasta recipes. And I actually shared a low carb zucchini pasta recipe a few weeks ago, as well as a spaghetti squash recipe. I'll put those links in the video description below. So now the question is, can you eat too much fiber? Yes. Eating too much fiber can move the food through your intestines too quickly. So this means your body will not have enough time to properly absorb the vitamins and minerals from the food. And also, if you recently added in more fiber to your diet, but now you notice you're feeling gassy, bloated, and crampy, you may have added too much fiber too abruptly. So slowly add in more fiber over time to allow your body to adapt. And also vary the types of fiber that you're eating. So as you've seen, there are a wide variety of foods higher in fiber. Not only does eating a wide variety of these foods provide your body with more overall nutrients, it also provides you different fiber sources for healthier micro flora and gut health. And you can also supplement with fiber to add in a wide variety of different sources. So bottom line here guys, it's not just about calories, protein, carbs, and fats. Don't forget about hitting your fiber goals too. So besides all the health benefits of fiber, from a weight loss perspective, it can help keep you satiated longer, which can then lead to less food cravings and reduce the risk of overeating throughout the day. That's called hashtag winning. So you can find more high fiber cooking video recipes like our cauliflower mash recipe on our Team Live Lean group coaching platform. We have a lot of cooking videos over there, plus you get monthly workouts, it's all on your phone. So if you're not a member of our Team Live Lean community yet, we highly encourage you to get on over there and join the team. So thanks for watching guys and keep living lean.